Another day, another metric. Welcome back to Digital Analytics, the channel for marketing, e-commerce, and data analysis of your digital marketing spend. Today, we're going to calculate cost per order and find out why this is important. Calculating cost per order is one of the e-commerce metrics that a lot of e-commerce websites use to monitor performance on how effective your advertising is to generating orders. And the formula is one of the more basic formulas. It is total marketing spend divided by total orders. And the cost per order metric, it involves a total cost in advertising that went into generating a single purchase or order in this case. And normally this is calculated on a monthly basis, although this is one of those marketing metrics that you can take a look at year over year to see if you're improving in efficiency. Or also, a lot of people like to calculate this by advertising channel. So if you're doing some marketing on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, or any of the other type of advertising channels, or even doing some digital ads uh, on run of site impressions, you can take your total cost, and then if you're calculating your total orders, which you can set that up in Google Analytics, you can set up the source. You know from your e-commerce stats what, where that advertising order came from if you want to get that in depth. You don't have to, at the end of the month, you literally can just take your e-commerce transactions, take the total transactions, total orders divided by the total spend, and that's how you calculate total cost per order. In this example, you spend $100 in the month or for the year, and you get four total orders. That means your cost per order was $25 and that basically is how you calculate cost per order. Now the reason why this metric is important is that you can calculate it on a monthly or annual basis. It can be calculated by individual advertising channels so you can compare your omni-channel marketing to see if certain channels are more effective to get uh, orders. And then also the data is readily available. So some of the metrics that we will be profiling, uh, it's a little bit harder or you need to have more advanced metrics set up for your e-commerce. But normally, even with your basic installation uh, on your website metrics, you will have your total number of orders and you will have your total marketing spend. So that is a look at your cost per order. There it is, cost per order on the Digital Analytics Channel. Very important for e-commerce websites. It's usually reported on a monthly basis, but sometimes at the end of the year, you do want to calculate year over year uh, if you are able to be more efficient in your cost per order advertising. You can calculate this by channel. So if you're doing Facebook ads, Twitter ads, or LinkedIn ads, and you have orders by source, and you have total spend by source, it is possible to calculate your cost per order by channel. Remember, hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and you can also leave a comment on a metric that you would like explained. That's gonna do it for another edition of Digital Analytics.